If you have followed how to make a chair part 1, you are 4 steps away from completing the chair. The 4 key steps are The side rails Assembling the frame The seat And finishing Step 1. The side rails Place the front legs 40 cm away from the inside of the back legs, ensuring both sides are perpendicular. Place the side rail on top and mark out the inner edges of the front and back legs and transfer the line to the second side rail as shown. Measure the depth of the mortise and set the height of the tenons. Here they measure 3 cm. Saw off the extra length from the rails. Cut out the tenons with the router and clean up the sides with a chisel and mallet. Plane the front legs and the front rail. Clean up the mortises if needed. Plane the back legs, the back slats and the back rail so that they are level. Place the tenon of the side rail on the back leg to mark the width of its mortise. Scribe the walls of the mortise with a mortise gauge. Use a router to make the mortise and clean it up with a chisel and mallet. Do the same on the second back leg. Use a saw to taper the front tenons of the side rails so they sit flush with the tapered tenons of the front rail. Step 2. Assembling the frame. You are now ready to assemble the front legs, the side rails and the back legs. Apply adhesive inside the four mortises and onto the tenons of the side rails. Insert the tenons of the side rails into the mortises of the back legs. Now slide the mortises of the front legs onto the opposite tenons of the side rail. Flip the chair so that it is standing on all four legs and clamp the front and back rails together with a T-bar clamp. Use a mallet to ensure the pieces are aligned at the joints. Measure the diagonal distance between the opposite corners of the seat. Here it measures 57.2 cm. You should find the same distance along both diagonals. In case you find a variation in the lengths, make necessary adjustments with the clamp. Drill two holes through the joints where the side rails meet the back legs and one hole where they meet the front legs as shown. Hammer square pegs into the drilled holes and saw off the protruding section of the pegs. Plane the chair so that all the joints are level.
Use a chisel whenever necessary. Use a file to round all the edges and corners. Step 3. The seat. Place the first slat on one side of the seat so that it extends 1.5 cm past the edge of the side rail and clamp it in place. Mark a gap of 1.5 cm from the first slat and draw a line with the tri-square to set the position of the second slat. Draw a line 6.8 cm past the 1.5 cm line to mark the width of the second slat. Mark all the slats in this way, with a gap of 1.5 cm between each of them, adding up to a total of 6 slats covering the entire seat. Measure the length of the seat between the outer edges of the front and back rails. Here it measures 43.5 cm. Add 1.5 cm to this measurement to include the distance by which the slats will extend past the front rail. Draw a line on one end of the slat. Now draw a second line 45 cm towards the other end to set the length of the slat. Saw the extra length past the marks on the slats. Place the side slat in position at the end of the seat so that it extends 1.5 cm past the side rail. Draw a straight line from the inside edge of the back leg as shown. Now, place the slat in position but against the inner edge of the back leg and draw the line from the front face of the back leg. Mark the section between the two lines for removal. Saw off the marked sections from the side slats so that they accommodate the back legs of the chair. Clean them up with a chisel and mallet. Next, drill holes on the front and back rails for the 5mm screws that will secure the slats. Make sure the drill bit is square with the seat and reaches right through to the opposite side of the rail. Now, drill three holes for the side slats on the side rails. Remember that the screws need to extend past the thickness of the rails to hold down the slats. For this, you will have to make large countersink holes from the bottom. This will also ensure that the head of the screws are flush with the workpiece. Here we have used the spade bit to create the countersink holes. Apply masking tape on the bit to mark the depth to which the countersink hole has to be drilled. Proceed to drill the countersink holes. Apply adhesive on all surfaces with which the first slat will make contact and clamp the slat in place.
Tap it with a mallet so that it is well aligned. Drill a small hole through the countersunk holes and into the slats using a 3mm bit. Use a screwdriver to tighten the screws before removing the clamp. Apply adhesive on the opposite side of the rail and fit the last slat at the same way as the first. Now apply adhesive on the front and back rails for the middle slats. Clamp each slat on top. Drill through with the 3mm bit and drive in the screws. Step 4. Finishing. Mark 1cm on either side from the corners of the seat. Round the corners of the seat with a chisel and mallet, followed by file. Use a router to chamfer the edges of the seat. Where the router can't reach, chamfer the edges with a file. Sand the chair with a random orbital sander. Now that the chair is ready, apply wood sealer and leave to dry. To learn more about applying sealer, watch the video, How to Polish Wood. You now know how to build a chair.